guys and welcome to Taylor Talk. Today I'm discussing with you my October favourites. October is probably my favourite month of the year, mainly because it's my birthday, but the <laughs> seasons start to change and everything becomes prettier and more fun and but the thing I don't like is that it gets hot. <laughs> like I'm dying in this shirt. Let's hop to it. My first favourite is the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Galaxy Eye Palette. I've been using this palette all month. Tanya Burr is another YouTuber, she's like crazy well known, so you probably know who she is. If not, I'll link her down below, she's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. I've been using this eye palette all month, I love it. It just comes, <laughs> I can't even open it. It just comes with like four basic colours, but I prefer basic colours more than too crazy because I'm very like plain and neutral when it comes to makeup. I don't like to go too over the top because I can look like a drag queen hella easy. Mm -hmm. And I love the packaging, it's so cute. It's like grey and pink, like metallic-y kind of colour. And it has a nice size mirror for eye products, I believe. Stormy Sky is my favourite colour in the whole palette. I use it on my crease the majority of the time and it's just so nice. It has like a, a red-brown tone to it, which I really like. It's so much different to the regular browns and things I use, but it's still neutral and I really like that. I use Moonlight normally to like fill in the rest of my lid. And when I'm feeling daring, I use Starry Night for like the corners of my eyes or like if I really just want to go nuts, I've done like a full smoky eye with it. It's really, really pigmented, so you have to be careful. You go from like nice to raccoon, like really, really fast. <laughs> I also love that it's magnetic, so like you won't have to worry about it breaking and going everywhere in your makeup bag. The next product is the Garnier, I can never say this right, so I apologize to Garnier for watching this doubt it but uh, the Garnier Skin Natural Micellar Micellar Cleansing Water I was a girl that would watch beauty gurus and see how they're going on about how makeup wipes aren't like good for you blah 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 and I'm like yeah whatever like I just use makeup wipes all over my face I'm done whatever it's easy it's pretty affordable like done and then I tried this I've seen a lot of other beauty gurus recommend this product especially Australian ones and I was like it was 40% off at the time, so I was like, I'll try it, see if I like it. This is now my current third bottle. <laughs> I love this. It takes off all my makeup so fast and so easy. It kills two birds with one stone because it takes off your makeup and cleanses your face at the same time. And you don't have to do the annoying thing in the bathroom and, and like wash your face and then like cleanse it and blah, blah, blah. I basically just use this and moisturizer and you're done. The only bad thing I have to say about this product is that it's kind of hard to get mascara off like completely. I use the Maybelline Eye and Lip Remover which is like five dollars and it's about the same size and I use that on my eyes and also my lips. I love this and recommend it and I've bought this for other people to try. I'm like this is so great that I bought one for you. Like you need to believe me about how good this is so try it. <laughs> but I love it. My next favourite is also another YouTuber. It's the Zoella Beauty Scrubbing Me Softly Smoothing Body Scrub. This smells, just hold on a second, it smells so good, um, I'm pretty sure it's acai berry, yeah, acai berry and blueberry, which is like heaven. I had a tanning accident, <laughs> which you might have noticed in my previous videos, and it just it didn't work out. I'm too pale. I've accepted that I'm pale and I love being pale, but I wanted to try something different. It didn't work. Um, <laughs> but I used this body scrub to help get off the product and I find within like two or three showers, the majority of the tan was gone. And I have this to thank. It scrubs like, like roughly, but not so rough that it hurts. Like I've used products where it's just like, it feels like I'm literally like cutting off my skin. And this is like really nice and it smells amazing and leaves your skin smelling amazing. I love exfoliating. It's like one of my favorite activities. <laughs> I've said that for ages. I love this. So definitely try it out. My favorite thing of this month is this book. This is a laboratory guest book. I bought this mainly for my own bathroom, but I also bought it for my birthday because my birthday was in early October. Another favorite. <laughs> and I bought it and I left it uh, next to the sinks when people like were washing their hands and stuff to fill out. And as you can see, people have like filled it out and it hasn't like even made a dent in the whole entire book. But that excites me because it's probably gonna take me like the majority of my life to fill out this, to have so many different people fill out this book. But it's really awesome. It's just like a blank page, like double spread, they get both and they write like why they're in the bathroom, like they can draw a little picture. It's pretty awesome. 
My favorite picture in this was done by my friend Emily's. It's kind of rude, but I'm gonna try my best to like cover it up if I can find it. I don't know if it's, is it, can you see? <laughs> it could be extremely blurry, but it's, yeah. It's based off that famous drawing. I don't want, I don't want anything to slip. <laughs> but I'm really excited to see who else fills it out in the period of the book existing. <laughs> my favorite music for this month would have, <laughs> My favorite music for this month would definitely have to be Troy Sivan's EP, Wild. I have never experienced such a great EP ever. Even though his first one was good, this EP is freaking incredible. And not only is EP great, he did a three part series of music videos to go along with it. And they're amazing. It's a beautiful storyline about him and a relationship with a boy that started from childhood and like all these things develop shove them all down below but it's so good and the last one came out yesterday and I was like bawling like a baby because it was so good my favorite out of the three part is number two which is fools I love the storyline I feel like that alone would stand by itself they all do individually but I think that one especially another music favorite for the month was when the 1975 released their new single love me on my birthday just like woke up 10 o'clock and I got like a notification thing and it's like, it's on this radio, which is online, but there's a link. So I was like, put it on. Me and my friend Alana were like dancing around the kitchen because we were making cupcakes for my party the next day. We were having so much fun. It's such an upbeat, fun song that has like a real like funky 80s vibe to it. And I'm just so excited for the rest of the album. God knows what it's gonna sound like. If it's anything like that song, we are in for a hell of a treat. Now I'm moving on to movies. <laughs> Get it? Moving. To move. Yeah. Okay. Um, my favorite movie of this month was It Follows. It's basically like a thriller, not really a horror, I would say thriller, about this girl who has sex with this guy and he basically gives her a curse of this thing that follows her and it can uh, like change itself into people she knows to get closer to her. There's this one person he turns into, it's like this super like seven foot tall like scary guy with like big black eyes pretty terrifying. It was very entertaining from start to end. The story of it is her trying to get rid of the curse and basically to, ha to get rid of the curse she has to have sex with someone and it basically just gets like transmitted to them. That sounds awful. And that's all for my favourites. Comment down below if you've tried any of these products or you have any more questions about them. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and until next time I'll talk with you later. Bye!